So it's really frustrating for me because I don't know who to believe. No one can do it like you. guys you're like way down there because mommy's got to hold the camera up high yeah. hello welcome back familia to live in la vida tagalog you got christina kuya and bunso here and today we actually walked outside for almost like a whole geez like five to ten minutes and we barely started sweating just now so i'd say that's a great sign either one we're adjusting or two it's just a much cooler day today I'm going to go with number one because I want to be positive, but chances are it's probably number two. Um, we are going to eat at an Argentinian steakhouse today. So I'm very excited because it's the first time I've had steak in a very long time. Um, and the first time we're going to be having a steak here in the Philippines. Oh, sorry, bug. Today we're going to talk about Wi-Fi here in the Philippines. And it's not what you think, so stay tuned. El Gaucho has several locations worldwide, and the one we're visiting today is right here in the heart of BGC. I smell the smokiness. It carried a smokiness that was remnant of beef jerky, but it was smooth and easy to eat like a piece of sushi. The boys are talking about, it does sort of taste like you're having like actual meat. Because of that smokiness, it gives it that jerky sort of flavor. Kuya and I both knew that we really wanted to have a steak. And we opted to choose something that we could share, not just in the flavor, but also in the experience. All of the steaks that we ate today were tender, juicy, cooked perfectly, and seasoned to perfection. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know how you don't eat steak. I don't think I've ever had a steak literally melt in my mouth. And that one did exactly that. I'm, I'm literally tearing up because <laughs> I'm so happy about this steak. It's just so to eat. Even the cheesecake had the perfect balance of creaminess and cold all in one bite. Thank you so much. Wow. So I have to say, if you guys have never been to El Gacho, that is a place to try. I mean, we had some of the most deliciously buttery smooth. I mean, those steaks were amazing and incredible and every other positive adjective I could potentially find in the dictionary right now. Um, and on top of that, they were nice enough to give us a try of one of their very own in-house um, shots. It was the El Caramel, and it was a special vodka that was infused with some sort of a caramel syrup. Wow! <laughs> I'm just like mind blown, seriously. So 
I know we will be back to El Gacho. I might have to bring some friends the next time I come through and maybe reserve a table up top. Who knows? Okay, so I kind of got sucked into that ambiance, but I still want to continue on and tell you all about the Wi-Fi thing that we kind of encountered. So one of the things, I think one of the most important things to remember is that your Wi-Fi speed and capabilities, no matter who your carrier is, it is entirely dependent on the building that you choose. So in an area like BGC here, um, we were told by many different people that Globe is the Wi-Fi supplier to go with here. And so we went to the Globe office, we checked with Globe, and unfortunately that Wi-Fi was no longer available in the building tower that we were in. They had a cap on the number of residents that could actually use their Wi-Fi services and they were already capped. So I think that's really, really important. If you're looking for a space to live in here in BGC, you need to ask that question. What Wi-Fi capabilities, what Wi-Fi company, and what Wi-Fi speed is available in the particular tower or development that you're looking into? Oh my gosh, it's really, really loud, so I'm super sorry if it's hard to hear me right now. Um, Another thing I want to talk about. So Wi-Fi is also very similar to cell service here where you can purchase prepaid or postpaid. For prepaid plans, you can actually buy as much data as often as you need to. However, one thing to remember is that these data options come with expiration dates. They also offer monthly plans, which are called postpaid plans, wherein you can choose a preset data amount. For the sake of simplicity, this is the type of plan we chose with 50 gigabytes of data. However, we are still in our first month of this plan type, and we don't know if it was the best option for us yet. Okay, so maybe one of the last things I think that I want to bring up about the whole Wi-Fi situation. So as far as the providers go, we wanted to stick with the same provider for both because that's what we were used to. It's what we knew. It's what we did when we were back in the States. And so we were looking at Globe to be our provider overall for everything. But what ended up happening is that Globe could be our cell phone provider, but they weren't able to be our Wi-Fi provider for our in-home Wi-Fi because they weren't available in our tower anymore. And so we had to go with PLDT, which is, from my understanding, the second largest provider here in BGC. And the, I guess, frustration that I kind of came across when I was looking at PLDT, even with Globe too, I think it was really hard for us because we would go into the stores or we would talk to different people at the kiosks and we were asking questions about the Wi-Fi service, what it entails, what we were going to get from it, and most importantly, what the upload speed was. Because for us, when we're trying to put videos out on YouTube, having fast upload speed is really, really important because we want to get our videos edited and out to you guys as quickly as possible. One of the videos took almost two days to upload from the Airbnb. And right now we've been trying to upload from an internet cafe at Shangri-La and it's just been really rough. And when we would talk to the different salespeople, we got so many different answers as far as what the upload speed capabilities were. And I think that was really hard because I just wanted like a good solid answer from somebody as far as what we could expect with regards to the upload speed. Um, I don't think we ever really got one, but Rowan and I got our application submitted for PLDT. So now all we have to do is wait uh, for an installer to send me a text message and schedule the install. Unfortunately, they said that can take maybe 21 days. I pleaded with Ate at the store 
to let me know if it's possible to get anything sooner and essentially she said i'm sorry ma'am it's 21 days that's our minimum all right so the saga continues the wi-fi issue um i was coming outside of the building just a moment ago right back over there they had a salesperson for a third party company i believe that works with pldt and basically she offered me almost a similar option um, but the difference was that the installation would happen in three to five days versus 21 days. I don't know what to do. Um, I keep getting mixed information from every salesperson that I talk to. So it's really frustrating for me because I don't know who to believe or what exactly to do. Basically what happened three days later after I signed the contract, sent what I needed to send as far as the prepayment goes, we had it. We had our Wi-Fi service set up in the house. It was working like right away. And we were able to get videos published and uploaded to you guys. So PLDT is ultimately who we actually went with for a Wi-Fi service. I think we chose 100? Yeah. Sorry, husband, just let me know. No, it was 100. Um, basically with that, speed that we're utilizing we actually did an upload versus download test through a Wi-Fi speed test um, we're not even getting close to that much as far as our download speed goes I think we are barely even at 100 um, but our upload speed is ridiculously slow but it's happening and so that's part of the reason why we actually get our videos edited and they're ready to go by like six or seven o'clock at night but it takes many many hours for them to actually fully upload to youtube and get out to you guys so i appreciate all of your patience with us as we're kind of learning um this whole process with the wi-fi and um, trying to be a vlogger out here. I don't know how other ones do it. I really, really don't. It has some sort of secret Wi-Fi code that we just don't know yet. Okay, so as it goes with cell phone service, to be entirely honest, I am still very confused. Um, all I can say is do your research. If you're from the U.S. and you're planning to come to the Philippines for an extended period of time, look at your bill whoever your carrier is look at your bill understand what your data usage is because that's the biggest thing out here you can get unlimited calls and texts with pretty much any carrier but every carrier has different levels of pricing tiers based on the amount of data that you're using every single month or if you're just planning to use your phone to make phone calls and texts then you could probably go with any of them I don't want to tell anybody to go with one over the other because, you know, you really want to make sure that you're making the best decision for you, for your family, for your circumstances. Everybody is different. Everybody uses their phones differently. Okay, so that's it for us here at Live in La Vida Tagalog. Kuya, Bunso. I don't feel like it was entirely informative. Maybe one day we will be able to come up with a more comprehensive guide to share with you all. I would love to be able to do that. But until then, thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate all of you. I mean, just the love from all of you has been ridiculous and amazing. And I really, truly appreciate it. Daddy has a question. What's your question? Hurry up, my arm hurts. Yes, so my husband just reminded me that um, after we went through a lot of our cell phone Wi-Fi fiasco, one of the vloggers that we follow, he is known as the Savvy Expat. We'll make sure to link his um, vlog down below. He yeah. just did a really great video that has like comprehensive research on a lot of the different carriers and what they have to offer. So, at last, salamat. And we got to next time. Got... Nope, not in focus. Focus. Right. Oh, we're recording already. Yellow. Yellow. Don't do that with your nostrils, they're gonna get stuck that way. Please stop doing that. <laughs> we are out here and he just got a bug bite on his earlobe. <laughs> oh, his poor earlobe is so fat. Uh, you can't hold your hiccups. I have hiccups in. I can hold my hiccups. You just can hold close your mouth.
Thank you.